Hello, I'm Ruth Messenger. I'm the president of American Jewish World Service, an organization which is motivated by the Jewish commitment to pursue justice that works to realize human rights and end poverty for the marginalized people in the developing world. We are delighted that there is a Musar Generosity Week, that there's attention being focused on who should give, why we should give, and to whom we should give. At American Jewish World Service, we most particularly want people to think about global giving. That is to go beyond our most immediate, obvious circles of obligation to ourselves, to our families, to our immediate geographic and or our faith-based communities, to people not easily seen, to people who from our point of view are today's other and today's stranger. We want people to think and talk about a Sadaka obligation. We want people to give readily and without regret, to give generously, but not only of money, also of time. We like the notion that, or we think it'd be important to cultivate the notion that people should give because at any time in this generation or in the future, the wheel might turn and we might be the ones in need of help. And we love the Jewish teaching that says that people should give something even if they're poor. Because where we work in the developing world, there are a tremendous number of people identifying problems, stepping forward, and giving to their neighbors and their communities in order to change the circumstances under which they live. I think there's a lot of there are a lot of connections here to the midot that Musar wants us to develop of humility and responsibility. I love the idea that giving helps not only the recipient but the donor and creates a tighter relationship between the two. And I love the idea that as we strengthen our muscle to give globally, we help to collapse the distance between ourselves and people who may at first appearance be 10,000 10, miles away, but who are in fact also people equally made in the image of God. When we give to them, when we know how they are able to use our support to make change for themselves, we become closer. We strengthen the connections between the one and the other, which is very much a Musar orientation. It's my hope that people will think about these responsibilities, we'll think about giving, but also one other point. I hope that people will think about changing the circumstances so that people today, there are not so many people today who are in such serious need. And at the American Jewish World Service, we do that by strengthening advocates and activists on the ground who want to change, let's say, the situation for girls who are forced out of school or forced into early marriage. By changing United States law so that the U.S. is more committed to helping support smallholder farmers who are pursuing agricultural sustainability. So it's giving not only from one's pocket, but it's giving of one's time and from one's head in ways that will help change the world for the better. That too is a Musar Midot. Thank you.